Hi, welcome to How to D and D. My name is Fred Wheeler, and today I have a guest with me, John Shackle. Hello, everyone. <laughs> we're going to talk about Dungeons and Dragons 5e, but we're going to talk about Xanathar's Guide to Everything. Yay! And we're going to talk about the Horizon Walker, which is basically a planar hopping ranger, which is a little bit unusual. But if you have a look at page 42 of Xanathar's Guide to Everything, it has details on the Horizon Walker. At third level, not first level, but at third level, you get Horizon Walker Magic. So an expanded spell list. Yeah. And the spells that you get aren't terrible, they're actually fine. You get Haste, you get Misty Step. Um, protection from Evil and Good, I'm not too worried about. Uh, Banishment's not too bad. Teleport Circle is kind of stink. Uh, it's not really something I've found to be even remotely use um, useful, but um, maybe you can make it work for you. Then you get the real sucky ability, the yeah. Detect Portal. So at third level you can detect portals. As an action, you can sense the closest planar portal within one mile. Oh my god, ah, oh, that's terrible. Yeah, I mean, granted it's, it's an action and you can only you can use it every short rest, but yeah, situational at best. Yeah, I didn't like it at all. But, uh, we will say that the next ability that you get is a lot better. Yes it is. So at third level you also get Planar Warrior. So as a bonus action, one creature within 30 feet, when you make your next attack, you just select them. Oh yeah. And you get to do force damage. Everything becomes force damage. Yeah, it doesn't matter what sort of weapon you're using, it doesn't matter what type of weapon it is, you're going to be doing force damage. And what I find even better about this is it does an extra 8 sided dice or 1d8 force damage on top of that. And most things do not have resistance to force, which is great. And additionally, when you go to level 11, you get to go to, you get an extra 2d8. No, no, it becomes 2d8. Becomes 2d8. Yeah. Yeah. So it's nice. Yeah. As I said, it's force damage. I mean, no one's complaining about force damage. Yeah. So I actually think that's pretty good. You know, you get extra damage, it's 1d8 force damage, and it, when you get to level 11, you get 2d8 extra force damage, and all the damage you're already doing is also force damage, which will get through just about every single monster's damage resistance. Yep. yep. And I mean, the good thing about it is, it can be merely, it could be ranged. That is really as helpful. As long as it's within 30 feet. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and then we get at 7th level, Ethereal Step. Basically, this is the get out of trouble um, ability. Yeah. So as a bonus action, you can cast Etherealness, and this is just to get you out of the big trouble that you're going to get yourself into, jumping around the planes and dealing with demons and other planar creatures and elementals and stuff like that. Ends at the ends at the current turn, so I mean, you it is literally get out of jail free, and it doesn't require spell slots. I mean, it's it's nice in that respect. Yeah. And even better, you can use it every short rest, which is helpful. And then we get uh, Distant Strike at level 11, which I had a look at this, and John was selling me on it, and it's pretty impressive. Oh yeah. Okay, so as an action, you can teleport 10 feet for every attack that you make. No, 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 no. Attack action, not just action, Fred. Attack action. Attack action, okay. So 10 feet for every attack action. Yeah. Okay. And uh, that means you're going to get to, you get at least two attacks at that level. Yep. That means you get to move your speed, make an attack, teleport 10 feet, make another attack, and if you've attacked two different targets with it, then you get to attack a third target. Yep, which means you get to teleport yet again. Yeah, and this can be ranged attacks or melee attacks. Oh yeah. This is pretty impressive. I like this a lot. Yeah, especially when you put it with Plenty of Warrior, it's going to be a bit broken. <laughs> the last one at 15th level is Spectral Defense and uh, whenever you take damage from an attack you get to use your reaction and basically you get resistance to all of that damage from that attack yep. on that turn. And that's it's, it's pretty good, it's going to deal with a lot of different things that might crop up. Um, I kind of feel like this is the sort of ability though that we've seen other classes get at lower levels rather than at higher levels. Yes, but remember it, it says all, uh, it says resistance to all of that, uh, 
that attack. Yeah. So especially high level spells like Prismatic Spray and Firestorm and things that do multiple different types of damage, that prevent that res resistance to all of that. Yeah. And that's a lot better than just single resistance. Yeah, usually yeah, you're right. Um, some of the other features that had resistance have been only to particular types of damage. Yeah. And this covers everything. So I kind of feel like the Horizon Walker is very situational. It's fine for a campaign that has planar travel, where you're exploring the multiverse of some kind. It's good for demons and planar creatures and elementals. Um, it's, a, it's got a great ability to get out of trouble. Uh, and it also does some pretty significant damage and they don't have to be planar creatures and can pump it out pretty well. Yeah, I mean, it's one of the better ranger classes uh, in Xanathar's. There is one other one that I think is a lot better, but we'll go into that together later. Uh, but it's still a lot better than, say, the Beastmaster. Yeah, it's not, yeah. Uh, Certainly it's gonna, it eclipses the Beastmaster. Oh yeah. But anything would, right, really. Yeah. Yeah. If you found this video helpful or informative, please share and like the video. If you have not already subscribed to my channel, then this is the time to subscribe and hit the bell button beside the subscribe button or underneath the video and that will give you notifications when I am live or I publish a new video. I do videos pretty much every single day. I have like 400 videos. There'll be something you want to watch, I'm sure. And if you want to support my channel, watch more of my videos. I have lots of them. I also don't do Patreon, but down in the description there's an affiliate link and you can buy stuff online and I get a small commission and you pay exactly the same price and that helps support me buying stuff. And uh, if you have any questions, put them down in the comments and I will answer those or maybe John will. Yeah, depending if I remember. If he remembers, yeah, yeah. But I will certainly answer your questions. And hey, till next time. Keep rolling those 20s. And we'll see you later. Bye.